Speedbird 105. Here we go again. It can go on the Hopi Acres website and then go on to stations online and then we would see that we have Amsterdam and uh, London Heathrow is online. Frankfurt doing CPDLC as well as uh, we have Gatwick and uh, many other airports. Okay, so we're gonna go to our browser and we're gonna go to Easy CPDLC. And you'll see on the GitHub, we see the Easy CPDLC, which is right there. The good thing about this is it's now a standalone uh, beta 0.2. So you're gonna download this version and zip it and then you're gonna go to it since it's a standalone and once you run as administrator you'll get the program started. It'll open up, you share the program here, you put in your hobby logon code, your VATSIM CID, press connect and then it'll give you the program here. So at this time you just press connect and it will show you a system message page and it will show you log on successful, sim brief is okay but it says a simulator error you press the ADC press in the request clearance a uh, departure clearance you put in the recipient as EHAM you're gonna put the stand that you are at the moment, I'm at uh, Delta 4.6 and you're gonna put whatever the ATC is at the moment uh, anyone at the moment we put here information Juliet as an example and any remarks that you want to put you can put here where there is altitude uh, anything that you want to put you put here and you're just going to press send and you see that the green when it goes all the way then you know that is sent also you get a report here saying the Tilex message has been sent and every message says we request PDC clearance the call sign, the type, where you're going to, where you're at, and the stand with the information, uh, the ATC information. When it returns, you see a message log coming right here, indicating uh, that you have received the PDC. PDC message from Amsterdam has arrived, and you press this, and then uh, as you can see the clearance is right here so you'll either accept reject standby uh, hit uh, free text I press accept and you see the message has sent to uh, Amsterdam but in the first place for you to even be able to to get this you have to go on to your network online network I'm using a Swift a pilot GUI at the moment and uh, as you can see that I sent when I press send, it was sent and then I was able to be able to send this. If you want to get the 80s, you can press Tilex, press 80s, it will pop up the uh, departure airport that you plugged in at the start. And press send and then you see the message sent here in the message log. Um, showing that you sent all your requests and it is. And then uh, the 80s will come back once uh, the ATIS is available on the network as you can see here the ATIS has come up information uh, info message from the server I'm gonna press that and you'll get the entire message ATIS message all in all I think it's a good alternative if you do not want to have to install uh, the Hoppy Acres alright so we're gonna do the second part which is the CPDLC which communicates to the controller while it's in the air. So we're gonna go to log on, put in the IKEA code for the uh, controller, press send, and you'll see a message uh, showing that the message was sent. So you see that uh, the CPDSC message is sent and uh, received. And uh, if you go back to it, is you'd see that you have log off and request a report. So that's to show you that uh, you had a successful logon and that you can request to direct, level, speed or when uh, can uh, we either climb, descend uh, or any of that um, that kind of thing and you can also send a report 
which uh, is available. So we can press the request again, go to direct and uh, this is how it is. I see the center call sign and uh, requesting direct to and you put the fix whatever it is VR or whatever that you want to get direct to I put either due to weather or due to aircraft performance and whatever remarks that you want to put whether as an example uh, the maximum height you can uh, go to so any of that nature and uh, they would send you back a message so in whether they accept or they would let you know what direction to turn anything that they would like for you to do uh, they would send it uh, the program does tend to have some issues uh, but one way you can resolve it by going on to .NET framework download it, uh, install it and then you will be able to get the program running also if the program still fails to launch you can go to where you have it right click go to properties Go to compatibility, change the compatibility mode to like Windows 8, press apply, OK, and double click the program, and you'll see that the program launches. Well, that's about all for today. I do thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and any uh, answers that I can give you, I will put it in the, the chat. So, thank you once again for watching. I do appreciate it. Go on to the other videos that I have. And uh, we'll uh, catch you there. Good day. Bye-bye.